with a Barstool Sports Advisor. America's premier sports information program. With Jersey Jerry. Dan, Big Cat Cats. And the source, Stu Finer. Barstool. Barstool Sports Advisor already lost a ring. We are back. Yes. Three. So back. The NFL. Here with Ashley, Tommy, Stu Finer, and Jersey Jerry in the gold jacket. You like that? You like that? Jerry, Jerry Sharp. Jerry, you got to have a big performance because the boss man's coming back next week. Dave? The boss man. Really? He's coming back oh, next week. That's right, surviving. He'll yeah. Be here. That's okay. Yeah. I, I did better than him this week than he did the week one. That's so. true. We got to figure out how to hide him. I've always said that we, we I, put I think him it's in out. the green screen. We, we, we get you like, we paint you into the wall. We could do that. We'll figure it out. You eliminated Rest. him last Rest. year. You're going to eliminate him this year? No. no. You're, listen. You're not, you're not going to gain no. his trust and then cut his heart out? No, no, no. Public loves that. Yes. Public, public lo- I mean, loves they that. love that. They love that. They love it. They love it. But it doesn't uh, work. By the way, Barstool Sports Advisors, we are brought to you by our friends at Jägermeister Ice Cold Picks, presented by Jägermeister. Jägermeister is best enjoyed ice cold at zero degrees Fahrenheit. Damn, that's cold. Don't wait for your friends to order a round of drinks. Call the shots and order a round of ice cold Jägermeister shots. Jägermeister is the best shot to celebrate with, win or lose. Check Jägermeister out at Barstool X. Jägermeister.com. Drink responsibly. Jägermeister liqueur. 35% alcohol by volume. Imported by Mast. Jägermeister US. White Plains, New York. Speaking of ice cold picks, Stu Finer wins our ice cold pick of the week. So we all want our mortal. Yes. First time in two years. First time in two years. Seriously? Yes. First time. First time. And they parlayed them all together. And on the DraftKings uh, yep. app, right? Yep. Our three picks, the best bets. They they list our best our bets. Our mortals. Yep. Our mortals. So everybody scored out. Everyone Shout out DraftKings. Yeah. Shout, Shout out, out scoring Shout out. DraftKings. Shout out scoring out. But you did win the ice cold picks. Yeah. Overall. You went 0 4 no, no. in your other picks. Right. Overall performance 1 and 4. And. I want to be honest. You know, uh, if anything, I'm honest. I was so excited about my selections. Yeah. I was so intellectually locked in. Yes. I mean, I I spewed a ton of bullshit. Yes. And um, picked on Wednesday, like we do every Wednesday. Mm-hmm. And then come Sunday, um, I was reading it and I was looking at my numbers and I have all my screens of where the sharp money's going, and um, I was on every sucker side. Ah. <sighs> but you know what? Week two is always tough. I took a bath week two. Mm. I got destroyed mm. week two. Responsibly destroyed, but destroyed. Mm. Destroyed. So, we got to pick it up. I'm yes. seven and six on the season. Jerry, you are? I am five and five four. Five and four. Yep. Stu, you're four, five, and one. That's not that bad. No. All right. So, I'm we're ready. all hovering around 500. Let's right. have a big, big, big. Week. Yes. Let's win some money win. on this show. Win. This is a gambling show. Let's win some money. Let's start week three with the Eagles at the Saints. Eagles are two and a half point underdogs. The over under is 49 and a half. The New Orleans Saints are the talk of the first two weeks. Absolutely demolishing the Dallas Cowboys last week. I had the Cowboys. That was stupid. Uh, let's start with Tommy in a stat. Let's look at the Eagles' team total, 23 and a half points, and go under here. Their last eight road games, they're averaging just 18 points. Saints defense been really good at home over the last couple of years, allowing just 17 points per game, and probably no A.J. Brown. Mm, and no A.J. Brown. Uh, weather in New Orleans on Sunday, it is in a dome, but Ashley, give it to us anyway, because we want to say hi to Ashley. For sure. New Orleans will be 85 degrees with clear skies. Okay. Okay. Boys, let's talk about this game. I have a couple thoughts, and then I'll kick it to you. I think the Eagles aren't good. Mm. But I also think this is a smart play to take the Eagles. But I also think the Saints are good. Mm. And I think that people are still underrating the Saints. Hank, what are you doing? You're distracting us. It's not, not really related to 
Okay, breaking news, breaking news. ESPN senior in NBA insider Adrian Wojnarowski has agreed to become the general manager of the men's basketball program at St. Bonaventure. He told ESPN the role includes name, image, and likeness allocation, recruiting, and supporting successful Bonnie's coach, Mark Schmidt. So is he not? He's retired? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Can he not do both? I he mean, must be. Listen, can, can I give my take? Okay, all right. Let's talk some b-ball. Let's talk some round ball. <laughs> uh, oil, cameras, P. Diddy. He must be on the oh, tape. He must be on the tape. Strike that from the ES record. We like Woj. Don't say that. What do you mean? I, okay. I'm supposition. I, that's not disparaging. That's he doesn't cool. work for ESPN okay, anymore. Okay, all right. But, you know, you he just works for a Christian of... organization. Yeah. Okay. Don't uh, cut that. No. Don't cut that. Jerry, your thoughts. I don't do you know who Woj is? Do you know who St. Bonaventures is? Do you know the NBA? I know Woj, he's the breaking news guy. Yeah. Yeah. So. St. Bonnie's, they wore the big shorts. The the one picture. You're right. That no, guy, shout out that good. guy. Shout out that hey, guy. He's listen. good. He's good. He's two for two. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Well, uh, well done. Let's nice. get back to football. Go. Bread and butter. Fuck basketball. Yeah, okay. Basketball That's shocking, though. Shocking. That's the most, like, obscure and thing I've ever heard in my life. It's not going to be shocking when people watch this on Friday night. He must have got like, That was two days ago. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> Is, that's not a fake thing. You're There's, sure about that, by, right? by the time By the time this happens, there'll be 17 doesn't other get, stories. Doesn't he get paid two, millions of dollars? I don't know. He's the number one go-to guy. I don't know what the going rate is. That is unbelievable. That is. Speaking of basketball, LeBron James's school is on track to go under in the next two and a half years. What do you mean? The I Promise school. What, go mm -hmm. under? Like, Dunzo. Cut that? it. Oh. Like, cut it. Well, no, nobody Shut even down. graduates. Yeah, nobody graduates. Nobody Got graduates. It. Okay. You're really keeping track of that school? i seen it on TikTok. Okay. Well, God. you're happy about that. Be honest. <laughs> yeah. You're I very happy. happy. I'm, I'm you a, hate LeBron. I hate LeBron, You yeah. hate Democrats, and you hate him. Share gut level. Don't be a phony. Don't be a phony. I'm gut level. I don't, I don't like LeBron James. No, I know you don't. Okay. So, you, so you're reveling in his failures. Let's yeah. talk about yeah. this game. Let's talk about this game. I'm going to take the Saints. I'm going to bite. Is this a wow. soccer pick? I met, it might be, but I do think the Saints are not getting enough credit because this is the week three is the point where you got two, two points of evidence, but you also are still basing stuff off of offseason and predictions and those power numbers. You know that, Stu. you got an analytical model. I think the Saints are a little underrated. I think Derek Carr is going to have a clean pocket. The Eagles have no pass rush. He's going to be throwing dimes all over the field. Give me the Saints minus two and a half in the dome. Jerry. Yeah, I mean, hand up uh, last week, Derek Carr ass, Saints ass. They've, you said that? I did, but that's a season-long thing. That's not a, oh, it wasn't week two type of thing. Well, that's but you said it before week two. Yes, but what I was meaning was I don't think he's a good quarterback. Yeah, right. Which now he's good, but he can be bad towards the end of the year. I think you called him a fraudulent Christian, didn't you say that? Yeah. A year ago or two years ago. Yeah, I remember mm -hmm. the clip. Okay. So what's your pick? Um, this is tough. This is tough. I don't believe in the Saints. I don't think they're that good. But the Eagles played, they played terrible. Yeah. They played terrible. Yeah. I feel bad for Max. That was a tough game. Um, I feel bad for Max in this game. Right? I do. Mincy said, quote, unquote, I'm bringing the noise. For this I, game, I overheard Max saying he's gonna gut him like a fish. Oh. He gets in his face. He gets in his face. Oh. So we're, we could have a problem. Oh. Um, how do you not take the Eagles here? I didn't. I know. How do you not? I didn't. That's how. how. Okay, well, I'm yeah, taking I mean, the Eagles. I showed you how. I know, I but took I, the Saints. I'm taking the Eagles. Okay. There's, there's no reason not to take the Eagles here. Sirianni's pissed. Hurts is pissed. The whole Sirianni's team. Sirianni's a joke. He's a joke, but he's pissed. He's a he's joke. He's pissed, though. He's good. He go make us a pizza. Only thing I'm worried about is that uh, New Orleans Saints offensive coordinator. He's good. Clint Kubiak. He's good. He's good, good friends with fluffy hair office manager Brett. Shout out Brett. Who's Brett? Brett. You know, Brett's old school. Okay. Uh, I'm taking the Eagles. Great guy. Incompetent on a lot of stuff, but great fucking guy. <laughs> Stu. Brett's father, Gary, backup quarterback for the Denver Broncos, John Elway, right? Uh, Gary Kubiak. Clint's, Clint's father. Oh, Clint's father. Yeah, right. Clint's father. Right, Gary, Gary Kubiak. Kubiak. Also won a Amazing. Super Bowl. I Amazing. Would say, I'd say Super Bowl winning head coach first. Amazing. Would you not? <laughs> Who? Gary Kubiak? <laughs> what? If you said, hey, Gary Kubiak, would I you remember like watching backup? Gary Kubiak quarterback. But would you say when John backup? John Elway got his head kicked in. What would you say, backup to John Elway or Super Bowl winning head coach? 
back up to John Elway. Okay, I would go with Super Bowl winning head coach. You won that Super Bowl when you had the Broncos Pan over the Panthers. Yeah, the Broncos over the Panthers. So you had that pick, right? Yes. Yeah. One of my greatest picks ever. Ever. It's the last time I actually made a real like six digit large bet. Love that. And probably And the you last forgot time. about who was and probably that and probably the last time. Oh, you okay? I'll ever. Are you okay? Reflux. Right. Because I want to tell you, it's an you odorous smell it? like you just put, you used tongue kiss me and you're a sewer. Mm -hmm. I just want to say that. Yeah. I would have rather you farted in my face doing a 69 than that odorous <laughs> reflux. I don't even know what. I guess, yeah, farted in the face during a 69, Jerry and Stu. That'd be bad. Be gross. That would be gross. All right, Stu. All right. Um, you okay? I mean, this is an incredibly tough game here. Is A.J. Brown playing? No. Likely out. So, without A.J. Brown yes. really stretching the field, yes. we've seen what Philly is. Yes. And it's not a bad team. You can't say that, that they're bad. They're just not Super Bowl worthy, I would say. Okay? But, I mean, Saquon's supposed to catch the ball. Yeah. I mean, let's be real right now. Everybody in this room catches that ball. Tommy catches the ball. Ashley catches the ball. Jerry catches every ball. He, he's the best athlete we have Thank here. You, You're Thank catching you. that ball. And I have, see that? Yeah, I have that very good. suspect oh, hands. Good. I would have caught good. the ball. So they're killing Sirianni. They're killing the Eagles. But if Jerry, Sa but if Saquon, right, if, right, Saquon right, if Saquon, if oh. Saquon catches oh. the ball. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, I love Saquon. That almost killed Sam. Yeah. There was a piece I mean, that went yes. right. That was like Matrix just I mean, went right by his face. I love Saquon. He's my favorite player in the NFL. I said he's going to be the Super Bowl MVP. I said he's going to be the NFL MVP. I was in his house with Kenny. Shout out, Kenny. Me, uh, me and Kenny are like this. Jerry and Kenny do not. No, no. Me and Kenny are like we this. We haven't talked. We haven't we talked. Haven't, I haven't talked to him either. I know. Okay. You know. But anyway, no reason to um, not a steal. Saquon's supposed to make that catch. I mean, he's been left off the hook and they're killing the, the head coach. I mean, you just gave the guy thirty million dollars. I mean, an eighth grader could catch the ball. So Philly, in reality, should be undefeated. They're not. Okay. Philly's defense is the key, and they're shit. Just like you said, they have no pass rush. Yeah. They have nothing. So that's gonna be problematic against New Orleans. <laughs> Did you just fart? No, he's no. laughing. No. <laughs> um. <laughs> God, I want to use Philadelphia in this game. Find get, get I'm gonna use Philly. Get I'm, using get Philly. I'm using Philly. I'm using Philly. Shout out Saquon. I fucking love you. I hugged you. I met your wife. Your, well, future, uh, future wife. Oh. Your children haven't seen the new house in Philadelphia. I'm gonna reach out to Ken and I'm gonna go to a game and we're gonna hang out and hug after the game. Um, but you should have caught the ball. But I was so happy that yeah. he dropped the ball yeah. because I thought Philly was going to cover. Yeah. I was laying five and a half. Yeah. If, if he caught the ball, they win by yeah. three yeah, and exactly. they dead. Yeah. So I was like, thank you, Saquon, for helping me. Not that Saquon shaving points because, of course, he's not. Nope. But I was happy. I, mean, I, I wanted to tweet, shout out Saquon, thank you for that. Now it says you can't, no, you can't. You can't intimate no. that Saquon's shaving points. Which yeah, yeah. He's not. Which you just did. Okay. He's not. All right. That was Philly. a wild. <laughs> Well, that was just one pick, folks. That was one pick. Let's go to the next game. We got Philly, Philly Saints on those picks. Next game. Saquon's mouth. Oh, Jerry. No. Put the Saquon dropping it because he drops everything. Chargers at Steelers. Ow. Steelers are minus one and a half favorites at home. Over under is 35 and a half. 2 and 0 versus 2 and 0. Ashley, let's start with the weather. Brought to you by our friends at Muck Boots. The weather is sponsored by Muck Boots. Muck Boots are engineered to handle the toughest conditions from muddy tailgate parties to wet and cold outdoor adventures. Their rugged construction ensures that you can enjoy your time outdoors without worrying about your feet getting soaked or uncomfortable. Muck Boots, stay dry, stay in the game. Right now, get 20% off with the code MUCKUBARSTOOL. Ashley, weather, Pittsburgh, outdoor game, give it to us. In Pittsburgh, it's going to be 77 degrees with a chance of thunderstorm. Okay, Tommy. The Steelers love close games. Under Mike Tomlin, they are 21-8 and eight against the spread with a spread of less than two points. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Okay, Jerry, Steelers whisperer, Jussie, your guy. Um, you, you said that you wanted Russie to, to demand a trade. 
Yeah, you, I do. You were obsessed with a guy that's literally never put no, a I snap say for obsessed. your team. I wouldn't say obsessed. Mm-hmm. I'm the number one Russie rider. Uh, Why won't you just be a Jussie rider? I can't be a Jussie rider yet because our quarterback one is not Jussie yet. It's Russie. Uh, I wanted to talk about that, actually. How do you not – if Russ is healthy, I'm, he's not healthy yet. If he's healthy, how do you not give him a shot at QB1? Uh, I'll give you a little reasoning. Uh, your offensive line is not good. They, they've been okay. They've been okay, but Justin Fields can move. Russie cannot move. Russ can move. Statue. He can move out no, the pocket. Can. Yeah. No, he can't. He's a play action Again, I don't guy. think you've watched did Russell you watch, Wilson you in watch, the last two years. you watch him on the Broncos? He, he cannot, threw for 26 he cannot, touchdowns. He eight cannot interceptions. scramble. I'm gonna, no, no, no. Watch. Nah, 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 watch. Nah. Can I give you something? Yeah. Name this quarterback. Okay. This is Jerry, by the way, uh, his, his quarterback analysis is, is based Na- on memes. Name this quarterback. Okay. Passing touchdowns last year, third. Pass touchdowns slash attempts, first. Pass touchdowns slash interceptions, second. Passer rating, fourth. Fourth quarter comebacks, tied for first. Game winning drives, tied for second. Can I, can Who's I that quarterback? Two that quarterback's Russell Wilson. Yeah, okay. Wow. I was going to watch the tape. Did you watch the that's tape? That's Russell Wilson. Did you watch no, no, the that's tape? No, no, Russell Wilson. Did you watch the tape? What tape? The tape. Watch no fucking tape. Exactly. Watch some fucking ball. Fair. Listen. Are you taking the Chargers? I, I might. Oh. I might. Let me do my pick. Okay. Stu, you go first. <laughs> I mean, look. <laughs> Hallball has his team playing really well. They're 2-0. and They could easily be 3-0. and um, Which team is the fraud here? The 2-0 and Chargers what? or no, the 2-0 Steelers? No, they can't be 3-0. They've only played two games. Chargers? Yeah. They could easily um, be three and zero. Oh, no, oh, they, they, well, they literally right, cannot. So They've only played two they, games. They could be two and zero oh each, right? No, they're all, they, they are two and zero. Oh. They two and zero. Oh. Okay, <laughs> so one of them is going to be three and zero. Oh. Correct. Right. That's what I said. They're no, both two said. and zero, oh and they they're both two and zero. Oh. Okay, okay. I said they. Which team is the fraud? One's going to be three and zero. Oh, one's not. Got it. Why are you? Why are you? All right. I'm sorry. I apologize. Apologize. I I'm like a dummy. I'm. Like, I'm no, I, that was my I, fault. I've said also, and, and now all of a sudden I don't hey, even listen. know who I am, where I am. Sandy. Stand up. That was my fault. <laughs> Sandy. That was my fault. <laughs> um. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the Steelers. I think their defense is gonna cause a lot of problems. I'm just gonna bet Steelers defense, 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 defense. Um. Let's go with Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay. Jerry. Um, this is the toughest game I've had this year. Really? Yeah. Yeah, the Steelers offense, they can't do anything. I mean, they they really just can't move the ball. And, oh, man, I want to win on this show. That's my goal. I want to win games. You're not going to go, Charger. I want to win games, though. I want. I, this is for the fans. This ain't for me. Oh, wow. I'm going to root. against your team? You can't do that. T.J. Watt right now is laughing in your fucking face. Yeah, he's saying this he's guy's supposed to be you. my fucking You have friend. an obligation. You're either, you, you're either Defend all the in. Wall. You're all in Defend or you're the fraud. Wall. Defend the wall. I'm all in. No. Listen, you're either a liberal or, or a Republican. You know my stance. Yeah. I, I, don't, know where, I don't know what your stance Listen, is right now. I'm I'm gonna, gonna, this is on the record. I'm going to take the Steelers. Yeah. I'm going to put a heavy bet on the Steelers. Okay. They probably won't win this game. Okay. But I, I but respect I'm that. The, the fans respect, respect, I respect that. that. They know how to read you. Right. Uh, they know how to read you. All right, here's my analysis of this game. Ready for it? Jerry. Yeah. Oh, my god. Yep. That was exactly <laughs> what I needed to know. Whoa. Chargers are going to punch him in the mouth. That was, Harbaugh ball. That scared Harbaugh me. Harbaugh ball. You see him flinch? He knows ball. Uh, That's flinch. what the Steelers well, are going to do. A bitch. The, the Chargers have stayed out east. They're doing fucking fun games. They're boxing lunches for homeless people. They're having a great time. Man football. Man football is coming to Pittsburgh. It's a man-on-man matchup. Yep. Man-on-man. Okay? Man. Man-on-man. Do you think Joe Alt and Rashawn Slater aren't ready for TJ Watt? No, I think they are. They are. Um, they are. Can I add something to my card? Yeah. Give me the over. Okay. 35 and a half. Whoa. Ugh. Gross. I know. <laughs> I'll take the over on my card. All right, I'll take the Chargers. Next up. Good pick, Dan. Ravens and Cowboys. Before I ruin the flow of the games. No, you, you don't ruin anything. It's your okay. show. Can I just say yesterday, I did two things that I haven't done ever. I had the thin crust Chicago style pizza for Great. dinner. Great, tavern style, yeah. And then I had the, what's that called? The thick crust. The deep, deep dish. dish? Deep dish for lunch. Okay. So Un- you had pizza pizza. 
Yes, and in between, I saw the Deadpool movie, which I want to give what 11. So you just you just basically lived the day of a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> On, it was just like one of the, it was Cobb yeah. Day. Yeah. I, I came here Cobb free, and I ate literally 7,000 uh, calories in Cobb. I love that for you. And I haven't slept. Yeah. I did an all-nighter. Why? Uh, because I was just excited about being here, excited <laughs> about... And I was carved up, to yeah, be honest carved with you. Up. I was on, like, 200 ounces of coffee and, like, 10,000 grams of carbs. <laughs> um, the deep dish Chicago-style pizza, by the way, is unbelievable. I had just straight-up cheese. I, I, I'm similar to Dave Pono. I like my cheese, but it is so crusty and so Yeah, the good. crust is delicious. And then what I did is... I, and I, Not that I'm bragging, but I'm definitely bragging. I'm not, but I am. Um... I, we ordered way too much food because I had minestrone soup, had Caesar salad. Yeah, you're an overeater. You know, we had I, your, I got the meatballs. So all the, twice now, um, I took all the leftovers in a bag and I gave them back to back to homeless people. Wow. That's incredible. Two unique love individual that. homeless That's people. That's incredible. That. Two unique I, ones? Yeah, unique ones. Unique they were ones. under like this train trestle, which I was scared. I thought I was going to get shot because of the Chicago reputation. No. Nope. But I didn't get shot. I have not heard a bullet in this town. And I've been here 23 weeks last year and three weeks this year. 26 weeks, not a bullet. I think it's bullshit. I think it's, uh, what do they call that? Hmm. Fake news. Fake news. Well, yeah, I, I think it's I, liberal I, fake news. I don't know. Well, it's not. It's not liberal fake news. Well, it's not they, liberal. I think they broke into somebody's car here. Whoa! A couple weeks ago. Okay. Who did? Robbers. <laughs> Robbers broke into your car? No, not my car. No, a minivan. No one wants to break into a minivan. Uh, Are they going to get a juice box? <laughs> so I went up to the homeless person and I said, <laughs> I said, I hate that I car. Said, Are You're you a minivan hungry? Bitch. I hate that car. You're and the Kamala said to me, "Duh!" Bitch. I hate and I gave that him the car. Pizza. <laughs> It's actually not a minivan, I found out. It is. It is an MPV. Yeah, okay. Multi-purpose vehicle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what a minivan guy would say. <laughs> why, 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 do you, why do you feel unmanly or less than in a minivan? Because. You know, I feel you like have a, a fat you have bitch. A girl yeah, who's a fat bitch. But you have a girl who's a drop-dead Colombian smoke show. Yeah. That's A. <laughs> All right? You ain't, fucking, you ain't fucking foreign. You ain't fucking strange. So what the fuck are we talking about here? I I, know. No, no, I'm lost. Do you live in a dreamland? No, I just... You, are you delusional? I think I would I look mean, better in a... not sober? So what are we talking about? I would look it's a vehicle. A no, he's a bitch in a minivan. You're not a bitch. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I am. You've never been a bitch in your life. I, I'm a bitch. That? Right no, now, I'm a I, bitch. I don't, I don't think that's yeah, true. He's a bitch. Uh, okay, Ravens and Cowboys. Cowboys plus one and a half at home. Another tough game. Another these tough are hard. game. Hard. These, are, these hard. are nightmare games. I just want to share gut level. These are nightmare games. These are nightmare. It's nightmare. nightmare. why we do the show. Nightmare. These are nightmare Ashley, games. Especially on a Wednesday. What's the weather? People don't give us credit for that. Yeah. Especially on a Wednesday. Wednesday. Every show picks Friday, Saturday, yep. Sunday. Sunday morning. We pick on a Wednesday. Wednesday. Ashley, what's the weather? In Dallas, it's going to be 90 degrees and chance of rain. Mm. Mm. But it's indoors. Tommy. 0-2 teams who made the playoffs the previous year, like the Ravens, usually bounce back in week three, 27-16 against Yep, them. that's my pick. Ravens taking them. Listen, the Ravens are, you want to talk about, like, the margins? They are outgaining their opponents. They're playing good, but they make the little mistakes that fuck them. But now it's do or die. Their back is up against the walls, 0-2. They have to win this game. Give me the Ravens. Jerry? Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? I'm laughing because you're laughing. But why why are you I, laughing? Would I, I say something funny? No. Is, no. Am I a clown? I, I love the Cowboys. It's like being okay, great. Do we're, you, we're just opposite on everything. I, I love great. the Cowboys in this spot. I think their defense, I know they let up a lot of points last week, but I still think they're really good. Okay. I think the Ravens are going to have no answers for Mika Parsons. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take the I'm going to take the boys here in Jerry World. Okay. And I'm going to take the over, too. Okay. Lamar, he's... Let's see He's up, down, up, down, up, down. You know down. what, Ted? Cancel the Ravens. I'll take the over. 48 and a half. Yeah, fuck it. Over. And give me the Ravens. Stu. Tommy, when's the last time Cowboys have been an underdog at home during regular season? I can find that out. Just give He can't find that. I could find Why that. Why doesn't he have that? I don't know. He should have that. <laughs> he doesn't. I don't remember the last time the Cowboys were a dog at home. That scares me. Um, Baltimore has a very tough schedule. I mean, they literally, if they go in the toilet, they could be 0-5. Um, 
And saying that, they could be 2-0 and o right now instead of 0-2. Oh okay, so Cowboys might be trash. I mean, they literally might yeah. be trash. I mean, the Saints made them look like trash. 35 in the first half. This is just, again, this is a nightmare of a game. I wish I had it. It's on Sunday looking at where the sharp money's going. I'm a sucker. I'm the public right now. I'm Stu Finder public. I'm Joe. Come on my face. Come shots. I'm dripping with cum. Um... I'm dying! What's that? I'm Joe? dying right now! Who's Joe? Tommy! I don't know. Uh, it was September 18th, 2022. How'd they do it? Not the that long. They won 20 to 17 against the Bengals. Okay. So wow. Wow. I'll take the Cowboys as the home dog! I'll take them! Woo! 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 Shout out doggy style! Yep. I'll take the Cowboys. Shout out, doggy style. How many games have we done? This is three? Three. Mm -hmm. Three light plays. I don't want to hear anybody tell me, Stu, you fucking buried me with free picks. Uh, three light plays. Everyone, if Stu, Cowboys! If Stu goes 0-3, please tweet him saying that he's a moron. When I say that, I want you to tweet at me. Yeah, that's true. I'm uh, just going to fucking delete you. You know this. I block you. I'm a bitch. I don't want to hear It's my fucking world. You're living in it. All right. We'll be back right after this with more picks on Sunday. Mm. Put this in my mouth. Create like Stu Fun is a bitch, because I am. Ready to roll, ready to roll. Stew steam, stew steam, stew steam. Remember, late breaking information. 12.30 Eastern on Sunday. The biggest syndicates in the world. The sharpest money in the world. It's when I bet. It's when I go all in. Listen, listen, listen. So far, the first two weeks of the Barstool special, 60%, 60%, 60%. Remember what it is. Three best bests. Three best bets. Three best bets. Only $69. Affordable to the world. Favorite number, favorite position. Listen, you're going to bet a lot of games on your own. You're going to bet your friends' games. You're going to bet Big Cat's games. You're going to bet Jersey Jerry's games. You're going to bet other games. But listen, you need my three best bets. $69. Favorite number, favorite position. I'm going 3-0, 3-0, 3-0, 3-0. How do you get them, Stu? How do I buy them? How do I purchase them? Get over to StuFinder.com. 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 Charger win that game. Oh, yeah. You're right. I know the yeah, Steelers. You're yeah. right. That was a sharp Make right sure hand. still running. That, get that in there. He just said the Chargers are going to bully the Steelers. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Man, I love fall. The leaves are changing. Football, it's Stella Blue Coffee. And this season, maple pumpkin pie. But my morning routine would not be complete without Dumpkin Spice Dude Wipes. Oh, Nancy, let it rip. Cheers, furry fellas. <sighs> Coffee that fuels you, wipes that clean you. That's some home cooking. Barstool Sports Advisors, we are back. Back, back, back. Afternoon slate. Lions at Cardinals. What a tough game. Another this horror game. show game. Lions minus two and a half. Over-unders 52 and a half. That's a large over-under, boys. Big, big. Stu, I'll go with you. I'll start with you. I, I think the Lions are uh, laying numbers against Arizona here, showing you that they have to be the side here. Uh, they have not played well. They have not lived up to their expectations. Arizona is a shockingly, uh, I mean, they're scoring at will. Um, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna lay the number here with Detroit. I think the Lions will just uh, outscore them. Be honest with you. I think okay. It'll be a scoring uh, fest. I think it'll be a great game to watch. It's one of the few games at 4:25 Eastern uh, this week. Um, it's going to be very enjoyable. Every game Detroit plays is great. Um, Tom Kennedy got it on the field. Yep. He. Uh, I think he had three punt returns for 81 yards. Wow. Um, shout out Tom Kennedy. I love you. Um, I it's love okay. the line. Yeah, it's okay if that's just your pick. I love the line. Yeah. I'm shutting up. Because we, we became like, that was, you, you went into Stu Bleacher Report for a second there. You're like, this game, you know, 425, that's the kickoff. It's going to be on CBS. I'm, I'm struggling here. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm dying. It's one of the few shows I'm fucking dying. This yeah. is tough. This, this is tough. This whole hard. week. I mean, you know, uh, listen, I want to dream about this. 
If you get enough money, can we do the show live Sunday? Because mm. I'm pretty sure. I don't we, think that's a money issue. We, I think we have enough money to do that. I do not think that has anything to do with money. Can, could we ever do the show Sunday? Can, I don't. Can think, you no. just sponsor me no. to do a Stu Barstool Sunday no. Steam no. show? That would have to no, live. That would, live would be. Good but that for would him. have to be on his own channels. <laughs> Why? Because you're I you're a tape delay guy. We need no, to tape. no. I'd be you, Stu. What you don't understand is. My performative, eat my ass, suck my dick, I fucked your girl. If, if I was with your girl, she'd know what she's been missing. Is performative. I'm squeaky clean. Yeah, I can attest to that. He came over to my house. He, I'm excellent. squeaky. You didn't fuck your girl? No, didn't fuck I, my girl. Okay, all right. All right. It's, it's performative. It okay. I am not this man you're looking at. <laughs> There's layers. There's layers. There's Shrek stew. <laughs> if I come to your house, I'm, my mouth is closed. I don't even know... I'm PG Stu and G Stu most of my life. Yeah, most of your life. But you put the camera on me, and, Which I'm, would be uh, and I'm Debbie Does Dallas, and I'm the guy that's banging <laughs> Debbie. It's just how it rolls. It Who's sells. Over Debbie? It makes yeah. me millions. Sex sells. Sex Stu sells. Stu sex sells. That's fact. But I'm not that guy. Yes, he's not that guy. I'm G Stu. He's G Stu. G -Stu. Uh, <laughs> top G. Shout out G Stu. Top, top G. Uh, Ashley, what's the weather going to be like in Arizona? In Arizona, it's going to have clear skies, but a hot 97. Hot, hot, hot. It's hot. That's uh, really hot. Tommy. Lions have been a great bounce back team. They've covered eight straight games coming off a loss. Goff 17 and 8 against the spread with the Lions coming mm. off a loss in his game. Mm. Mm. Thank you for making me feel good about my pick. I'm going to take the Lions as well. I like the Lions. Listen, that game was a disaster against the Bucs. They should have won that game. Uh, they got to figure out the red zone. Dan Campbell's got to just chill out for a second. I'm taking the Lions. I think the Cardinals are getting a little overrated here because they played up a really banged up Rams team. And Kyler Murray, shout out Kyler Murray, that short guy. He is so fucking good, but I'm taking the Lions. He's good. He's good. We're doing a show right now. I just wanted to. I, mean, I didn't know you kicked it to me. No, no. I oh, no. did the weather. Tommy did the stat. I, no. Stu I, made a pick. I, I made a I pick. I didn't know you kicked What's the look what happened, Hank? He didn't kick it to me. What's wrong? He, he, he did. You didn't kick it to me. He, you, you, I went like you, this. Jerry. I went like this. I know, but I was, I'm reading the information. Down. I'm reading the information. Stop meditating here. I'm not meditating. Stop. Listen. Stop. There's two guys at this company that came up to me before the season started, and they were like, Jerry. Kyler Murray this year. I'm like, no, 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 he's not good. I said, Jerry, Kyler Murray, maybe even MVP this year. I said, no, 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 he's not good. I'm taking the Cardinals here. Ooh, who taking the Cardinals. Guys, who are the two guys? Jake Malasek and Ebo. And Ebo. Well, Jake Malasek is a moron. Ebo's really smart. Average it out. He's going to be a pretty good quarterback. How much smarter is Ebo than Malasek? Significantly. A moron? Okay, so I'd go with the Ebo. Yeah. I'm taking the Cardinals. Okay. Home dog. Okay. This is the Ebo pick. It's and an if Ebo it loses, pick. it's a Malasek pick. Correct. Yes. Exactly. Okay, Love that. Official. That's official. Okay. Last game. Sunday night football. Chiefs at Falcons. Falcons plus three and a half. Falcons save their season with a huge win in Philadelphia on Monday night. They now have to play the Chiefs. Stu, you're not going to give a pick because you're a coward. Mm. So go ahead and say whatever you want to say. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sunday was 5-3-1 and one overall. Hit my 50-dime all in max best bet with the J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets. Back-to-back -back side total Sunday night parlay winner. Week one and last week. So I'm the king of Sunday nights. Uh, it will be on StuFinder.com, the side, the total, the parlay. It is a paywall. You have to pay me. Plus my three best bets, $69, favorite number, favorite position. StuFinder.com, StuFinder.com, StuFinder.com. Okay. Uh, the weather in Atlanta, Ashley. In Atlanta, we've got 78 degrees and cloudy. Ooh, it's Beautiful. gonna be a dome again. We got a lot of domes. Dome. A lot of domes. A lot of domes. Dome. Tommy. Uh, talked about primetime unders last season. They've been pretty good early on, but especially good early in the season. Primetime unders 22 and 9 in September over mm. the last three. Mm. Mm. That, those stats, that's a hurtful stat. Thomas, let's start hurtful? the year off. Yeah, it's a hurtful stat. Well, that was right in the light, too. Because if there's one game on, I bet the over. 2 and, oh. and that's how I lose all my money. 3 and 0. Oh, okay. Man. I'm going to take. Shout out to us. I'm going to take <laughs> the Atlanta Falcons plus 3.5 in this game. Oh, I like yeah. that. Like yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Like you it. like that? I like you it. don't think that was a fluke? Uh, it's not that it wasn't a fluke. It's that the Chiefs look at their first two games. Chiefs are phenomenal. 
obviously going for three in a row. Isaiah likely gets his foot in. The, Beng- the, the Ravens are a two-point conversion away from winning that game. Bengals, pass interference away from winning that game. The Chiefs has not really been impressive. They, we, we've talked about Xavier Worthy. He's, he's a rookie. He wasn't, like, explosive against the Bengals. Uh, Patrick Holmes threw, like, 150 yards, a couple interceptions. Worst I think it's a tough game. You get three and a hook at home, give it to me all day. Okay. Jerry. I like where you're at, Dan. Travis Kelsey, he's been a no-show, really. Um, that defense, that the Chiefs defense, like, sometimes they look so good, and then there's times where they look terrible. McDuffie's an all-star, though. I love him. Um, I have three plays here. Oh, no. Three. I have three plays in this Whoa. game. This is how much I love this game. I love the Falcons. Yep. I love the over. Yep. And I love Bijan to score. Bijan? Yeah. To score? Yes, 100%. Bijan I, I love does this look game. awesome. He's, he, he's, look he's incredible. incredible. He's incredible. He's incredible. I fucking love watching him play ball. Love Bijan. Love Bijan. Okay. Good picks, boys. When we come back, we'll do our mortals. Reminder last week, we went 3 0. 3 0. Keep it going. Back right after this. It's September, rolling into October, not far from November, right up its ass is December, and then we got New Year's. Listen, listen, listen. It does not have to be a special holiday for you to make somebody a special someone in your life. How about this? I have been doing Stu Finer shout outs for 10 years. I have now joined the number one company in the world, a billion dollar company, Cameo, Cameo, Cameo. So I'm the number one personality on Cameo. And what I do is I make people happy. I put a smile on people's faces. I change people's lives. A lot of people are depressed. A lot of people are down in the dumps. I pick them up. I energize them. Confidence flows through my body, through the Cameo, and Cameo says, I love you, I love you, I love you. Send somebody a cameo, whether it's a birthday, whether it's an anniversary, how about a bachelor party? How about a wedding? How about a graduation? How about a pick-me-up? Somebody really is down low. You want to raise their spirits. How about somebody's your best friend and you want to shred them? How about somebody's not doing good at fantasy football and you want to make them aware you know they suck? Do this. Book a cameo. Book me on Cameo. Book me on Cameo. Cameo.com slash Stu Finer. Cameo.com slash Stu Finer. Cameo.com slash Stu Finer. I don't know what to say, really. Three minutes to the biggest bet of our lives. The bets we need are everywhere around us. And that's why we use DraftKings, everybody. It's about the spread. It's about cashing a win. It's about hitting the over. So when we bet, we bet with DraftKings. The crown is yours. Barstool Sports Advisors, we are back. It is time for our Mortals, presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. What's better than watching football on the weekend? There's nothing watching football on the weekend with the DraftKings Sportsbook. That's better. DraftKings Sportsbook app in your hand. Our partner DraftKings is hooking up all new customers who bet $5. They'll instantly get 200 in bonus bets. Follow all your favorite Barstool personality picks in the Barstool betting group on the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Download the app now. New customers use my promo code, be advised, and bet just $5 on any wager and get 200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code, be advised. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours. Mortal time. 3-0 3-0 and last week. Let's go 3-0 and again. Let's do it. Stu, give it to us. I think the Vikings are real. Oh. I think Sam Donald is real. Darno? Darno. Darno. Donald. Darno. Darno? Yeah. The A-L-D is silent? It's French. French. Hmm? Oh. Um, love the Vikings plus the points here. I, I think the Vikings are real. I think their offense is real. Their defense is real. They're extremely well coached. Uh, not saying they win outright, but they're going to win outright. My play is plus the points. They're going to win outright. Don't bet them outright. Take the points, but they're going to win outright. Okay. Jerry. I'm actually have the same game. Oh. But I have the over in the game. That's my mortal. Texans 
great offense. We watched it with the Bears. They struggled a little bit. That was the Bears' D. Yeah. Vikings' D is not the Bears' D. Yeah. Viking D, D is worse than the Bears' D. They're going to score points. But Sammy, like he said, Sammy's having a great year. Mm-hmm. Jay Jettis, he, he got hurt. Is he going to play? He's, I don't know. He's back. Probably. <laughs> Over. 46 and a half. Lock it in. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. I have a theme this year with my mortals. Picking teams that are gross. Mm-hmm. I gave you the Panthers week one. That was a loser by about 40 points. I gave you the Packers last week. Sharpest game on the card. Outright winner. Yeah. Sharpest game on the card. So we're going to go for another 0-2 team. And it's the Tennessee Titans against Whoa, the I like, Green Bay Packers. I like Tennessee it. Titans minus 2.5. Listen, this defense is legit. They are balling out. Will Levis, just take a sack every now and then. Don't just take a sack. That's all he's got to do. Just take a sack. He's got such a big He's got such a big Try so hard. Try so hard. And we love him. Take a sack. Defense is what's going to win this game. I gave you the Packers last week because the Colts can't stop the run. And that's what showed up in that game. The Packers ran it like 50 plus times. The Titans can stop the run. The Titans are going to make Malik Willis beat them. I think the Titans are going to win this game and cover this spread. Titans minus two and a half. Give it to me. That's my mortal. Let's go three and zero again. Let's go three and zero. Great show. Parlay them up. Three and zero. Parlay them up. Parlay them up. Barstool Sports Advisors. We'll see you next week. We love the big you. Man Thank you. We'll be we back. We love you. Dave will the be big back. man will be back. Be back. Be no back. Dave will be here. No one comments that Jerry clears Dave. You don't comment. That. Don't comment that Jerry. You know, bigger than Dave. Don't yeah, do that. They do it anyway, though. But don't do that. But not. Know, he's not they, bigger than Dave. But no. He's more loved than Dave. Don't do that. I don't know about that. The fans, he's got Miss Peaches now. He's using Miss Peaches as a little thing to get. Oh, that Miss Peaches has nothing to do with on this show. But on this show, he's, I read all the comments. I I screenshot the comments. I go to see with their Twitter and Instagram. Two, to see if these two guys to read see if all they're fake the accounts. That's a fact. They're not. 7030 wants you on the show forever, and they don't give a fuck about Dave Portnoy. Mm, maybe. Okay, maybe we'll do a poll. But, no, I don't do that. Listen, we're both enjoying the show. We, okay. You, you get, some weeks you get Dave, some weeks you get me. It is what it is. Okay. All right. I need to be on the show. Every a day. poll. We'll do a poll. Ashley.